Readers, for this lesson, you want to have Katarina's Wish ready to go, and you want to have made sure to have read that story as well. So if you need to take a few minutes to either read it or reread it, or just remind yourself of what that story was about, what was important, do that now. Then you'll be ready to continue on with me. So if you're ready, let's begin. Whenever you're watching a film, you know how sometimes you can almost tell what is coming next? Sometimes you even wanna tell the character, don't go into that room, it's full of vampires, or don't trust him. In films like these or books or stories, authors sometimes give you tiny clues that alert you to what might be coming next. So today I want to teach you that when we read, we can be on the lookout right from the start for hints and clues that the author gives us about what might happen later in the story. This is called foreshadowing. And sometimes a part of the story is important because it foreshadows later events. So I wanna practice this right now by using Katarina's Wish. And one thing that I hope that you do is that you make predictions in the beginning of the story using the clues that are on the page already. Hopefully you already have done this for, for Katarina's Wish. And if not, we'll go back and maybe make up a, a prediction after the fact. Let's practice that. I'm going to go back in the story and I'm going to look across from the beginning and see, are there any clues about setting, any clues about the character by looking at maybe their thinking, the dialogue or actions, and also to see, do they leave any clues around the beginning, like how, for instance, sometimes they tell if it's an excerpt or they might give us a little blurb. Is there anything there that tells us what will be important later? Let's just take a peek and see. So I'm back here at Katarina's Wish. I'm also gonna look over my jots to see like, well, what was I thinking in the beginning? What, were, what was on my mind anyway? Okay, so I'm looking back here and I'm thinking about what was important back in the very beginning. Any clues? Okay, I'm even looking at the excerpt. I had a prediction here. I predicted the story will be about how hard moving is. They come to America looking for a dream. Those things felt important in the very beginning. Let's see, were there any other clues as to like what the story will be about or any foreshadowing we can find? We have some clues here. Let's look, read the first paragraph and see, are there any clues that could be four pieces of foreshadowing for later in the story? My papa's dream brought us to America. Mama said only a fool believed in dreams, but she knew Papa, so she packed our trunks. So I'm thinking already about, like, since I've already read the story, I'm thinking about how this kind of reminds me of what ends up happening towards the end. It talks about at the end about dreaming still and thinking about, like, how by the end of the story, things kind of, like, turn up for the characters. Like, the dream kind of has to be kind of, like, you know, um, revised a little bit. It's, it feels a little bit different. And things are really hard, but it eventually like they do kind of find something positive. They do find something pretty good. And we know that over the course of the story, um, it revolves around this dream. Like that's why they're here in the first place. So I'm seeing some stuff here, right there in the very beginning about dreams. We moved across, we arrived in autumn. I'm also thinking down here, like by this part, like how things start out hard and get better. This line here kind of, I think foreshadows that a little bit. By May of 1901, neither of the dream nor the country felt new. They felt both, they felt old and worn out. As, as I stood behind our house, staring at a dozen bottles of filthy laundry, I couldn't help but think mama had been right. So I'm also thinking about how like this part kind of um, signifies like later events or if like it kind of hints at things that come up later, like the, the laundry is important later because when they're working in the laundry that leads them to like seeing this new beautiful place that is makes them feel more excited about where they are more excited about this place that they're living in now i'm also thinking about how um you know like a lot of this is about like overcoming this feeling of like disappointment and moving on to finding something positive so from looking at the beginning of the text and thinking about the clues that the author left us i feel like i do see some stuff about the for special, especially about the setting like how the place is not very great, not very helpful for, for farming, doesn't really help the father's dream, the thinking, the character is really negative, thinking about the laundry, thinking about what the parents did. And so now I'm ready to think about the uh, maybe a question. So let's try one of those. And I wanna think, be careful to, to make sure that as I try the question, I'm really using what I've learned. 
So what I'd like you to do now that you've watched this video, I'd like you to try this on your own. So you're going to answer this question, work with your partners. When you're done, answer more questions from the text, thinking about what you've learned about foreshadowing, but also what you've learned to be true about stories as a whole. Good luck and use what you know.